So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the World Business Angel Investment Forum, Bai Barzel Tuntas. <laughs> Mr. President of the Republic of Macedonia, Mr. Development Minister of Turkey, Mr. Innovation Minister of Kosovo, Mr. Former In-House Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Ms. Parliament Member of Turkey, and Mr. Minister of Hungary, Mr. General Council of Hungary in Istanbul. Welcome to the World Congress 2018 of the World Business Angels Investment Forum and welcome to Istanbul. <laughs> I have a very quick question. The question is very simple. Do you think Istanbul is the correct address to host such kind of a World Congress? I think so too. Why? Istanbul is an interesting city. Istanbul is the only city in the world hosted 140 world emperors of the world. 20 Roman emperors, 60 Byzantium emperors, and 30 Ottoman sultans. Why? Because Istanbul was the capital of Byzantine Empire, Roman Empire, and Ottoman Empire. Since Istanbul hosted 140 world emperors, then why not to again host the real emperors of the 21st century? Who are they? Angel investors. Why? Because 96% of the world economy is driven by SMEs. And the main uh, issue, main challenge of the 21st century for SMEs is access to finance. But today's entrepreneurs, startups, scale-ups need more than finance to compete in the global market. They need smart finance. And only one source of finance available which can put smart finance for them, angel investors. So they are the kings, sultans, or emperors of the world early stage equity markets. The second reason is, Istanbul is the second city after New York hosting the most number of diplomatic missions. They have even an association, Mr. President, in uh, Istanbul, the Association of Diplomatic Missions. And I'm very pleased to let you know that the president of this association, representing 140 countries now, is with us. His Excellencies, Hendrik Palas. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. And I think these two reasons are very, very meaningful for Istanbul to, so, uh, to host such kind of a congress. Istanbul is the correct place, okay, but is Turkey the correct address? I think so. Why? The first trade agreement of the world was signed in Kayseri. And the first peace agreement of the world was signed in Çorum. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, this agreement is now on the walls of the United Nations in New York. And this agreement is interesting. There are two signatures on the agreement, the king and the kings. This is a very good example for women entrepreneurship, women equality. It happened in Chorum. So I'm very pleased to have Today, uh, Her Excellencies uh, Kurt, the Chorum Parliament member, uh, representing Chorum at the Turkish Assembly, and she will announce tomorrow morning a very important initiative and will try to convert Chorum as the capital of the women entrepreneurship in Turkey and WBAF's 
one of the uh, uh, important missions is to support women entrepreneurship, her excellencies. We are going to back this project. Thank you. <laughs> and the third important reason is, I think you know, for angel investors, for entrepreneurs, for everybody, the most important uh, word is money. And guess where money was invented? It was invented in Manisa. The Manisa is a city in the western part of Turkey. So I think this is also a very meaningful reason for us to host uh, such kind of a uh, uh, um, congress uh, in Istanbul, uh, in Turkey, uh, because this land is the place where the money was invented. But is it enough? No. Why? Today, I think it, is a, uh, it will be a good step to reinvent money. And we can call this reinvented money in Istanbul as smart finance. What do we mean by smart finance? Very simple. Putting money in startups is something good. But if you are putting your know-how, your mentorship, and your network in the businesses you invest, this is smart finance. And not crowdfunding platforms, not banks, not stock exchanges, not chambers of uh, commerce, not VC funds, none of them can put know-how, mentorship, and network. Only angel investors. So I am really proud uh, to uh, lead uh, the World Business Angels Investment Forum because this forum is very, very important to ease access to finance for all entrepreneurs and also for angel investors in the world. So I think it will be good to highlight the importance of angels while converting public money to smart money. I think Tübitak president is with us. The uh, Scientific Council of Turkey uh, is going to back a very important fund, and I think they will call, I'm not sure, this fund as an angel fund shortly. He will give more information about this, and this fund will be run in cooperation with angel investors, accredited, qualified angel investors. You know, Turkey is the third country in the world, after US, UK, who uh, legalized the angel investment issue and brought an accreditation system, and with a 75% tax incentive, Turkey is the uh, um, first country in the world giving the most um, tax incentive for angel investors. I would like to highlight the importance of our great supporters. Our supporters and sponsors are very important for us. Otherwise, we cannot uh, serve, implement our mission so easily. Our main sponsor and official partner 20, for 2018 is Visegrad Group. Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, they came together and now they set up a Visegrad for economic cooperation. And I don't want to go into detail because Mr. Minister is going to uh, address to you on uh, behalf of Visegrad Group because Hungary is the term president uh, this year. And our co-sponsors, Turk Economy Bank, Özel Bankacılık Angel Investment Platform, and Istanbul Technical Universities, Arı Technokent. These two important sponsors, I really want to thank to them because this is their fourth time sponsoring the World Business Angels Investment Forum. And I think they, and our Vjegrat uh, group deserve a, uh, a very good uh, applause. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, in alphabetical order, I want to thank to Albaraka, Bilkent University Cyber Park, FinTech Istanbul powered by uh, Interbank's credit uh, card center, Finexus, Intel, Invest in Istanbul, NextChange, Peppers and Rogers Group, the Republic of Turkey Prime Ministry Investment Support and Promotion Agency, the Qatar Development Bank, 
and Workington. And our global scientific partners, UNIDO and TÜPİTAK, media partners, TRT World, Anadolu Agency, Dünya Daily and Paraviki, our official airline, Turkish Airlines, and strategic partners, IFC, SME Finance Forum, IASP, EBAN, ABAN, MBAN, and TBAA. The CEO of SME Finance Forum of IFC is with us, Matt, thanks so much for joining us. The president of IASP, Joseph, is with us. Thanks so much, Joseph. The president of EBAN, the European Trade Association for Business Angels, Candace Johnson, thanks so much, Candace. The president of ABAN, African Business Angels Network, thanks so much, dear Abdul Malik El Jabbar. Sorry, Harry Tommy Davis. MBAN, Middle East Business Angels Network president, legendary president, is with us. Thank you very much, Abdul Malik El Jabbar. So, dear um, guests, we have also a good uh, participation from international media. The Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, The Sunday Times, The Sun uh, Growth Business, uh, Die Woche of Germany, uh, News of the Netherlands, YLE of Finland, and Agence Press. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today, dear uh, media members. And I, I think, uh, made a good promotion of Istanbul, but I also uh, have to say that Istanbul is not the only city so nice in the world. Porto is also very nice. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he's on the way now. Uh, he will join us. The mayor of Porto will join us uh, a few minutes later. Uh, and I really advise you to visit this nice city, not only of Portugal, but also of the world of Europe. And the third very important city, Ohrid. Ohrid is of Macedonia, Mr. President. Very nice lake. I had been there for holiday. And I invite everybody to visit the Ohrid city of Macedonia. It is an interesting city. Why? because it is the only city in the world hosting the school of Ivanov young leaders to invest in young generations. And every year, around 50 global young people are getting a very good education under the auspices of the Republic of Macedonia. Mr. President, thanks so much. I think I made a good promotion for these cities and I want to make a little bit marketing for two issues. The first marketing is for the Global Entrepreneurship Congress. I would like to invite all of you to Global Entrepreneurship Congress, which will happen in April in Istanbul again. And this Congress is run uh, by our colleagues Endeavor. They are working very hard to make a great congress for 5,000 people again in Istanbul. So I would like to extend my best wishes to all participants from now to this uh, congress. The 2019 congress will be chaired by our board member, Dr. Hashim Hussein. And I think in 2019, you have to keep the April dates also for your agenda to visit Bahrain for the uh, World, uh, Global Entrepreneurship Congress. Very quick facts, we have now um, guests from 74 countries, 124 speakers from 35 countries, 26 panel discussions, 17 keynote speeches, 17 legendary leaders, nine fireside chats, five presentations, one governmental meetup, two workshops, two master classes, one short -term. So we have a very tough agenda until 6 p.m. tomorrow and today, we, tonight, we are going to present the World Excellence Awards again in this uh, room. And uh, I think uh, these nine uh, categories uh, are very, uh, will be very uh, stimulating, uh, will bring stimulating uh, uh, examples uh, for the world uh, community. Uh, of course, I have to confess that I'm speaking here, they are listening, but as a matter of fact, this is, uh, I, I think you have to know the people backing me. I have a great 
board at WBAF from different countries. Our board member, Abdul Malik Al Jabbar, the president of Middle East Business Angels Network, Charles Sitman, one of the co founders of the Angel Capital Association of the United States, Dear, uh, Tommy Davis, the president of the African Business Angels Network, Dear Inderjit Singh, the former Singaporean parliament member and also the president, co president of the World Entrepreneurship Forum, Dear Peter Cowley the UK's best angel investor in 2015 and 2016 and invested in 60 uh, startups. Dear Abdul Aziz El Halifa, the CEO of the Qatar Development Bank. So, dear board members, I think it is enough to announce the good news for our community before ending my words. Yesterday, our board decided to make the next Congress again in Istanbul on 24th of February 2019. And I think we have to, we have to applaud them for giving such kind of a support uh, to their president. WBAF is expanding its mission uh, with the support of its country leaders. We have 41 high commissioners in 40 countries. 32 of them are with us today. So starting from left, um, Greece, uh, Iran, uh, India, uh, Macedonia, uh, Montenegro, Niger, Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, uh, Serbia, uh, Singapore, Spain, South Africa, uh, Slovenia, Sudan, Tanzania, Tunisia, and Turkey. I think they all deserve a really good applause, dear friends. <laughs> this is the first Congress we opened the door to startups. I am very pleased to announce that the first uh, stop uh, visit of the startup campus of V4 is World Business Angels Investment Forum today. They have organized a global uh, tour to raise funds. And from Istanbul, they will move to Tel Aviv, to Singapore, Los Angeles. They will make a global tour. So um, I think be, my last words should be for startups, entrepreneurs. Because in 1991, I launched my own business uh, from scratch while I was a uh, university student. And uh, I think I have to share with... Uh, entrepreneurs what I learned in these 30 years. I learned a very important one thing. Dear startups, dear entrepreneurs, if you become the angel of your customer, your customer becomes your angel. And if you are an angel because your customer is the angel of you, then angel investors will be more keen to invest in you and to cooperate with you. So I think we are always okay uh, talking about banks, stock exchange, angel investors, crowdfunding platforms, VCs, private equity funds, wealth management issues, etc. But please don't forget the most important player of this game, customers. Dear president, dear ministers, Mr. Minister, of de development of Turkey has taken his flight this morning and came here. And he will take his flight after his speech back to Ankara for the minister's meeting. Then we'll take another flight and we'll come to Istanbul for the gala dinner in the same day. I think, dear delegates, this is really an excellent commitment to empower the economy. So could you please Please, he deserves this, Mr. Minister. <laughs> Dear guests, I hope you are going to find the World Congress 2018 of the World Business Angels Investment Forum a rewarding experience, and please enjoy your day. Thank you very much.